Hi friend, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jorge. If you're new today, I have a really fun video for you because the other day I was cleaning the garage, kind of organizing through things, and I realized there's a whole bunch of junk in here that I've accumulated, some things that I've gotten from the thrift store, old DIYs and things like that. So what better time than to do a trash to treasure challenge and challenge myself to create upscale looking high-end decor that does not look like a DIY project. I don't know if you're familiar with James Trail, but if you're not, he's an American artist, most famously known for his work on light and space movement. And it's something really beautiful. In architecture school, I did some case studies on him and did a little bit of research. Now, if you've seen Kendall Jenner's uh, Architectural Digest house tour, you would have seen that she has a James Terrell piece. Um, really beautiful, but I have this wood tabletop. <laughs> Now, this is actually from an old DIY. Maybe you saw that video. If you haven't, go watch it after this one. But I created this like coffee table. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, it kind of looked like crap. I don't like the legs. The legs were just not it. So I got rid of them, left the tabletop, maybe come in handy. Here we are. Now, an original James Terrell piece is probably out of my league. And by all means, I'm not trying to copy James Terrell, but I am inspired by this idea of light and space. So I'm gonna create an artistic piece with this tabletop that is minimal, that brings in a little bit of light that I don't know. This could go south, but let's see what we can do. Overall, I feel like this project is going to be quite simple. Now, the first thing I want to do is add some plaster. This is going to give it some texture, some depth, and really play with this spatial element that I'm looking for. But before I do that, I need to use a specialty primer. Here, I'm using this acrylic-based primer. It doesn't need to be the specific one, but this one will ensure that the plaster has something to grab onto and no mesh tape is required. Now I often see DIYers try to plaster their furniture and they end up having a hard time because maybe the plaster ends up cracking, it doesn't stick to the surface or it doesn't dry properly. Maybe it might be the type of plaster. I'm using Fresco plaster which I have not had a problem with. This stuff is intended to be skim coated essentially so it really sticks to the surface as long as I'm using this acrylic based primer. It's a little bit challenging capturing the texture on camera, but it's looking real nice. Now for the outer edges, I used my fingers. I found it to be the best way to rub it on there smoothly. Next up, let's gonna let this fully dry for a couple of hours, probably overnight, probably more before moving on. Okay, so the tabletop has dried now. I'm going to, I actually have some leftover a lime wash paint that I did in the walls. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it just because I kind of want it to be minimal and kind of blend in with the walls to some extent. So. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on there on top of the plaster. Similarly to the walls, I'm gonna go in with two colors. The first one's gonna be darker and this one is called Plateau by Color Atelier. Once that dries, I'm going with a lighter color, which is called Old White by Color Atelier. It doesn't really matter, but the reason I like to do this is this creates a rich velvety effect, which can sometimes be hard to just to do with one color that's fully dry I'm gonna seal it with some tray wax this is gonna give it some protection I guess now for the fun part I'm gonna bring in some color some light and a hula hoop Ooh, a hula hoop I tried hula hooping I can't hula hoop I, like I don't know my hips can't move that way I guess anymore <laughs> I guess my hips can't move that way but I can DIY and uh, let's trust the process and see how this comes into play. I'm securing the hula hoop to the back of the art piece with some of this stuff. I have no idea what this was. I found a roll of it in the garage, but it comes with like holes already so that I can bend it and secure things. So that's exactly what I did here. I just screwed these little things on there. And there we have it. I wanna have control of the lighting in terms of the colors, the brightness and all that. So I'm gonna be using this LED strip lighting, which I feel like it's pretty common these days. It's all over the place. I found this one from Amazon, I believe. Link it below. So I'm just gonna attach it to the hula hoop around and honestly, that's pretty much it. Oh, in terms of mounting to the wall, I cut up a piece of wood with a little hole and secured it to the back of the board. But that's pretty much it for this project. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I don't know, something different. I still need to remove some of the old hardware from the old art, but this is pretty much the result.
So check out this little side table that I thrifted a while ago. I think it was like $4 or something like that. It was super cheap, kind of cute, but kind of not really. I don't really like the wood tone of this specific one and the like tile thing at the top. So maybe it's not cute actually. And maybe it's actually a plant stand. I don't know. Let's see what we can do with this. I'm thinking maybe like a cute side table, maybe something mid-century, be like a little plinth column, pedestal, whatever. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so this is the little stool that I thrifted a couple of a while ago actually this is only $3.99 as you can see it's like made out of wood it's nothing too special at the top it has like tile I mean it's cute but it's not my vibe so I'm gonna go ahead and transform it great thing about a little side table project like this it's the stakes are low here like I'm not gonna ruin everything if it doesn't work out but I want to make it kind of more interesting and such a simple accent like this can easily be swapped out in case I actually end up hating it so So I have some of this like extra MDF. It was actually part of like um, like some shipping supplies from like a furniture piece. They used this in the packaging. So I saved it like maybe I could use it in the future. It's the perfect project for it. There's two sheets of this. So it's like quarter inch MDF. But this is pretty much the perfect width for this side table. Isn't that awesome? There's a little tiny gap, but I'm going to fill that up. But I was thinking maybe I can create like a fluted effect for this side table. That could be fun. my saw to cut the MDF boards to the proper size here. In terms of securing it, I'm going to be using my bread nailer and some Gorilla Glue. Not sponsored, but hey, Gorilla Glue, if you want to work with me, let's talk. create the fluting effect, I went through the garage and I found some of these MDF pieces that I had cut up off camera into little strips. It's much more budget friendly than actual wood and since I'll be painting this, that's fine for this project. So I'm just using some glue here and doing such. But here's a cool idea. What if I flip it upside down? Maybe I can make it into like a table, maybe put a tabletop on it. Sure, why not? This is where things start going south, kind of. I cut up a piece of MDF for the top. Now, in terms of paint, I was actually gonna plaster this, but I was like, too much plaster in this video. I'm going to spray paint this. So I spray painted it with this like dark bronze, which I actually really like this color, but I don't know if I love it on this specific table. Now for the top, I did the same thing. However, I popped this piece of porcelain tile with like a faux marble effect. I thought that could maybe look good at the top. And this is the final result. I don't know. I'm, mm, I don't know if this is my best work, but it's, it's, it has potential still. I kind of want to plaster this. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think I should plaster this? Also, do you think I should flip it upside down like this and kind of create a little gap as such? Or maybe I should put a tile piece on top. I don't know. I feel like this definitely has potential. What do you think I should do with this table? Honestly, do you ever go thrift shopping and like buy something or want to buy something? Like, oh, I'm going to totally thrift flip this, make this look awesome, but then it just sits in the garage and it's a pile of crap. Well, this is almost that because I'm finally gonna get to this. So this is a table lamp that I thrifted a while ago. It even still has the sticker on here. This is uh, this was $2.99 and it's a pretty good lamp. I tested it, it still works. It's metal and I don't know when it's from, but it's like this purpley metal color, which I'm not a fan of. So I'm gonna transform this. I went to Pinterest to kind of get some ideas and I came across this lamp. Look at this lamp, it is, stunning it's sort of this beautiful mid-century uh, danish i think lamp i don't know who the designer is but it's a statement piece it's elegant and i'm sure it comes with a hefty price so i'm going to kind of just take inspiration not specifically from that lamp but kind of overall a danish lamp that is minimal that is elegant with this old thing first up one coat to two coats of flat black spray paint in the dark because the sun's setting sooner these days 
I knew these were gonna come in handy at some point. So these are plates from Target. I know I've seen them at Walmart too. They're just like these old plastic plates. I feel like these are great for outdoors or like, I think I had seen some of these when I was like in the dorms in college, but these are perfect kind of modern and I like how thin they are. You know, it kind of create a little lampshade or some kind. I don't know, but I kind of want to plaster these. This might be a fail. I don't know, but I'm here to experiment. Let's see what we can do with these. <laughs> Now I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to experiment for some time now, and that is to plaster plastic. I feel like it's the same concept as plastering, you know, wood. So I'm going to do a couple coats of this acrylic base primer, and then I'm going to go in with the plaster and hope for the best. Theory, I should allow the primer to fully dry before going in with plaster, but I'm kind of on a time crunch So I'm just gonna add it directly um, You know once it's dry to the touch. So here I'm gonna take my plaster This is a fresco plaster Which is a line based plaster and then I'm just gonna brush it on there and kind of create some brush strokes some texture, you know Okay, so the spray paint has dried so we got a matte black or flat black uh, lamp here. I'm not gonna need this top part, but I'm just gonna leave it on there for now for like handling um, Now I'm going for an antique brass look So the black is really gonna help with that and I'm gonna use some rub and buff the color is gold leaf So I'm gonna rub it and buff it and see what happens um, to create that look now I have in the past done it with a brush, but it just sometimes it's just better to rub it I mean, that's probably why it's called rub and buff, you know, I don't know So I'm just gonna put some gloves in because I want to it's sometimes hard getting it off your fingers There we go just a little bit And rub it. Ooh Fuck Every time every time I am amazed with this stuff You can rub and buff your whole house with one of these little tubes like I'm not even kidding a little bit goes a long way. Look at that. Looks so good. Back to our plastered lampshades. Now, I wasn't in love with the color of the dried plaster. I just want something a little bit warmer. So again, I'm going to use the leftover lime wash paint from the living room. So using old white and the color plateau to kind of create a nice warm textured effect. And I find that this is gonna be more minimalistic too and kind of just blend in with the room. So now I'm gonna drill a hole here. I'm using this drill bit to create the hole. I'm trying to center it somehow. Um, this is going to allow it to fit in the lamp. Hindsight, I should have drilled the holes before I plastered anything, but nonetheless, it still worked. In terms of sealing the plaster, I'm going in with some tray wax, which is basically a wax that will protect the plaster and sort of make it easier to clean in the future. I ended up putting three plates for the lampshade, but that's pretty much it. Not bad for a couple of dollars. Does it look like a DIY project? Mm, maybe if you get up close, but again, not bad for something that was basically trash. Honestly, for trash, not bad. I feel like these look way better than expected. I feel like these totally look like high-end pieces. Maybe I'm just being biased, but comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite. But before you go, be sure to check out my DIY playlist. I have other DIYs that I've done. Go watch them, It'll be a good time. I also have more ideas coming soon. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I got junk in my trunk. <laughs> no, junk in the garage. That's not as catchy. Mm. Anyways. <laughs>